All right, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Rohu Tech. My name is Rohan, and in this video, I'll be covering Amazon Route 53, the practical demo of that. So this video will be actually the part two of uh, the previous video which I have uploaded, which says how to launch AWS EC2 instance. So in that, I have already mentioned that this tutorial covers in two parts. So this particular video which you are seeing on the screen right now uh, was the first part and as you can see here the second point I have written is route 53 demo will be covered in the next video. So this is this next video in which I will be covering route 53. Alright so let's begin. So in the last video if you can see here I have already launched a EC2 instance. Now let's go to route 53. All right, so this is the first time we are coming into route 53 and this is how the screens will look like. Since there is no host added yet. So in the DNS management, let's add an, a, a domain. So again, I'll just uh, read it out for you. If you already have a domain name such as example.com, Route53 can tell the domain name system that is DNS where on the internet to find web service, web servers, mail servers and other resources of your domain. Okay. So get started now. I'll click on create hosted zone. So there is no hosted zone right now. I'll create okay create a zone so first of all we'll try to add my domain supercrazydeals.in so i'll be adding three domains i have three domains right now i had these three domains earlier in another aws ec2 instance so um, so this site for that this site is actually a shopping aggregator website i'll create this Okay, so as soon as you create a hosted zone, you get this name servers already and start of authority. We'll create a new record set for IPv4 and we go to EC2. So this is our public IP. I will copy this and just say www and in the value I'll add IP. So this is another entry. So basically, you you must have these two entries added. That is. IPv4 that is IP address which is this and the name server and now these name servers one by one I'll have to add it here okay so I'll try to change the name servers here so I'll copy this one by one so as soon as I'll copy and paste this name servers here. And uh, after a while, now, now this while, what I'm saying is, might take 48 hours 24 hours so it com comes under the domain propagation dns propagation uh, time so these are the name servers i'll be adding to godaddy godaddy usually says that as soon as you add a new name servers uh, the domain propagation will take at least 48 hours but it just says that 48 hours but it definitely doesn't take 48 hours. it takes only hardly five to ten minutes if not that at least after a one hour 
your uh, your do domain name will be pointed to a new hosting space and uh, yeah so after one hour or so if you go on super crazy deal dot in uh, the site will be rendered through the new aws account and the new ec2 instance all right so let's go to action instance top state i'll just top it for now and then uh, once it has been moved to new aws account the dns propagation is done and the, my websites are all working fine then i'll terminate it for now i'll just stop it storage of your instance will be lost fine aws i'm okay with that okay this has been stopped now let's visit super crazy deals We can see that the site is up and running properly. And the site is loading it from a new AWS EC2 instance, not the old one. As you saw that the old AWS EC2 instance was stopped. Alright, so this was all about Route 53 service of AWS. Hope it was of some help to you. If you like the video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel Robotech for such videos. That's all for today's video. Next time, I will come up with some other useful video. Till then, stay tuned, stay healthy, be kind and keep hustling. Thank you so much.